Barcelona advance in the Copa del Rey with a 3-2 win Ooh. over something called Barbastro, yeah. which I'm told is a football club in the fourth tier. That's right. Jules, they managed to give to give up 14 shots on goal 14. for total XG of 2.5. Incredible. Um, and this was a solid Barcelona lineup they put out. It was a very strong lineup. Especially, just have no especially margin. defensively. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but again, we go back to the problem. For them being so strong last season, domestically, not so much in Europe, but domestically, and then to be all over the place, so shaky. I mean, shaky, I think, is the perfect word to sum up the performance in that game. And yeah, they went 3-1 up. The, the, the second goal from Barbastro is late in the game, like garbage time, like you like to say. But still, they were shaky. The whole game, they were shaky. And usually in those games, you don't... Okay, you, you score early, which they did. And then after that, you just managed the game. But no, they were under pressure at times where you think like you should never be under pressure in this game. It, it looked to me like there were some players trying to do too much, like Ferran Torres, like... Rafinha, I thought, had a good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, he was okay. Femin was the best player, I thought. But it, it, it just appeared to me like, all right, let, let's go and let's smash them rather than just kind of managing the tie. And I actually thought the defenders in this game, because there's a lot of individual mistakes, which is how yeah. they ended up with this many shots. Yeah. yeah. I thought they, 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 they said, all right, it's just, the, you know, this is done. Why are we playing? We shouldn't be playing. They should have the subs in. And they yeah. ended up. Costing yeah, them. no, maybe. It's strange. But I mean, we saw Atletico Madrid as well struggling away at Lugo too. So we'll get to that. Not just them. Real Madrid advanced past Arandina 3-1 as Arda Guler delights on his debut. Jules, more, I think, personally, more important than Arda Guler, um, we got to see Tobias at right back nah. and especially Alvaro Carrillo at center back. Which of the three is going to play the biggest part the rest of the season? Ah, come on. Arda Guler, 100%. If he can stay fit. Yeah, but they have other guys who play Arda Guler's position, but Carrillo, no. no? I'm not sure we see much of Carrillo. They did okay against Arandina, uh, Tobias as well, but I think everybody just was looking, was watching Arda Guler. He hit the post with his right foot and then the post with his left foot on that wonderful free kick. He's just such an exciting player to have. And yeah, I don't know where you would play him or instead of who and how. And I think, I think that in itself is quite exciting. But at least he was back first start, first game because he had obviously bad luck Let with injuries. Let me rephrase this. This season, it's more important that they get either Tobias or more likely Carrillo to contribute significant minutes between now and the end of the year if they're really not going to sign another center back. I'm sorry, I worry uh, about this. It keeps yeah, me no, up I at night. I know you do, but I saw Eda Militao back at training, I mean, at least on his own, so he might not be too far. So we, we'll see. But I think Arda Gula is certainly the one they're expecting the most from. Memphis Depay has scored twice as Atletico Madrid beat Lugo 3-1. Gab, your resident Memphis Solek. So you must be happy for him. I am. I want him to play. And look, I'd rather talk about Memphis than talk about the horrendous defending that we saw again at the back. I don't understand what is going why on? you can't fix it. It doesn't matter if Witzel's at the back or if Witzel's in midfield. It's the people behind him. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know where you fix the issue. But look, he missed two months out of the season. He's back. I get it. Maybe Cholo, maybe, maybe can, we, can we consider Griezmann in midfield and space for Memphis? Because the reality is Monata and Griezmann are going to not just start every game, yeah. as you would expect, but you're not really going to take them off unless you're chasing the game, which you generally, oh, sorry, you're not really going to take them off unless you're like 3-0 up, which you probably won't be, or unless you're chasing the game, you want to bring on another striker, in which case you might often bring on Correa as well. I don't know what Memphis wants to do, but I just want to see him play regularly because he's entertaining. I know. I agree. I agree.